Accountants, they are the men and women behind the numbers, but now there's fewer of them. So few, in fact, the state of Alabama is taking steps to make it easier to get certified as a public accountant. We go in depth tonight on why this shortage is happening and also the impact it's already having on communities in our state. Willie Lake simply couldn't stay away. Home is what, what you make of it. And here I am, I'm back. Home is York, a quiet railroad town in Sumter County. And we have a very, very good uh, volunteer fire department. Lake graduated with a degree in corporate yeah. finance. He spent nearly three decades as a federal regulator. Now he handles many of the town's finances. I love numbers, I understand numbers, I understand the importance of it, and not being able to get financial reports at a regular basis was very difficult. It kind of like driving a car with blindfolds on. It's hard work, but he often has no choice but to do it himself. We have an external auditor, but we need an internal auditor because they only have myself and the, and the city clerk, and sometimes it feel like we're drinking from a fire hose. York isn't the only place struggling to find accountants. There's clear data that says that, you know, the accounting pipeline, as we like to say, is, is really headed on a downward slope. Janine Birmingham is the president of the Alabama Society of Certified Public Accounts. She says from 2010 to 2021, there was a 36% decline in enrollment. In 2021, 75% of CPAs who led audits were eligible for retirement. Why do you think that is, Janine? Well, per, I mean, this is a Janine opinion. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think our image, ha our, our profession has some image problems. That image is tedious, long hours, and little interaction with others. The association is pushing to invest in middle school education and have accounting be included in STEM education funding. But until we can get resources into the high schools to kind of back up what we're talking about, um, you know, it's a, it's a slow process. Rich Houston, the director of the University of Alabama School of Accountancy, says many opt for more lucrative business majors. Becoming certified also looms large. I've noticed students getting more and more just afraid of the CPA exam, and their pass rates are really strong. The State Board of Public Accountancy decided to waive Alabama's application fee for the CPA exam. Starting in December, it will increase the window needed to complete the exam as well. So we felt like state boards can't do a lot to impact the pipeline, but we decided to own what we could. And one of those items is the rolling 18 months going to 30 months. Starting salaries are beginning to rise to become more competitive with other business careers. The importance of this shrinking profession can be easy to overlook. You know, accounting is the language of business. And nearly everybody, every individual and every business mm -hmm. relies on a CPA. But not having accountants and not performing regular audits can cost towns dearly. It already has in York. There's a lot of opportunity we lose out on because we can't apply, because we don't have the financial reports to be able to do that. The town recently missed out on an ADEM revolving loan. Why? because it's behind on its audits. I don't see us ever being a Huntsville or Tuscaloosa, but we can be a better York. Those in the industry have hope the pipeline for accountants and those who rely on them will improve. Right now is a great time to be an accounting major. Um, you're, you're getting the same skills. The demand for you is the same, but if the supply is down and the demand is the same, you will get a job. Now, advocacy groups are working with Congress to find more ways to allow more federal dollars into accounting programs. Those I spoke to say accounting degrees require critical thinking and analytics, traits which they say are valuable in many jobs.